Hi, Martin Dave here. I decided to shoot the video uh, inside this month. For those of you not in Calgary, it's freezing cold out there. Uh, so I decided to stay in the safe confines of my office. Uh, however, something that is not freezing, the real estate market, uh, sales up 50% from January, median home prices up 3%, median condo prices up 5%. Uh, right now, the market is cooking. The question is, is this surge happening because of the change in mortgage rules, or is it something more? The short answer, hard to say. Uh, you know, this, for those of you who follow the Calgary real estate market, you know, this time last year, huge surge ahead of the mortgage rule changes, and then things really fell off a cliff. The question is, is this happening again? Uh, the evidence to say that it's not, uh, there's basically about three things that I would say. Uh, the first is the Calgary economy. Uh, you know, right now, oil is up over $100 a barrel. You know, let's not kid ourselves, this is an oil town. As oil goes, this city goes. And so with high oil prices, the city is busy right now. Everyone I talk to, everyone seems to be working away. Everyone is busy, uh, which is great. And this is a sign that you know, possibly these home prices are related to the economy, at least on some level. Uh, the second difference between this year and last year uh, is that this year, there is no threat of interest rate changes. Now this year last year, we knew interest rates were going to go back up because they were at historically low levels. Uh, but right now, we're, we're safe to say that interest rates are not going to change until the summertime. So they're still at least you know, three, four months away. So while mortgage rules are changing, we're not also having the specter of interest rate uh, increases at the same time. And so those two factors last year really drove things. We're not seeing that yet. In fact, it may be interesting to see what happens ahead of likely interest rate changes in you know, June or July, if we get a little another surge again, you know, late May, uh, early June sort of thing. Uh, the other difference between this year and last year is that people were, were a little bit more aware that this was going to happen. And if you, uh, you know, this is sort of in February, so instead of people, if you're looking to sell, this, best get your home on the market sooner rather than later. Uh, and new listings were up about 12% over of historical averages, uh, which is significant. Uh, and also interesting at the same time is that inventory is actually down 3% from historical levels, despite the fact that sale, new listings were way higher. So it does show that people were aware this could happen. They put their home on the market sooner, uh, and so that way it should mean that there's less of a drop off in the coming months. Uh, with that said, I do still predict that home prices will sort of slide down a little bit going ahead. Uh, it's always interesting because part of the home prices going down is that sellers need to accept less money, and I see that less likely to happen this year. However, I do still predict that you know home prices are going to slide down a little bit, at least into the summertime, and that's just more of a sustainability factor. You know, condo prices cannot go up five percent every month. That's you know totally unrealistic, uh, and that's even above you know two thousand six levels really. Uh, that's all I really want to save this month, guys. If you guys have any questions on this, feel free to give me a call. Uh, 403-990-1278 or get, my th get me through my website info at calgaryconreport.com uh, As always guys, appreciate the support. You guys have been great and fantastic to me and I always appreciate that. Thanks a lot guys. Keep warm out there and have a great